Hello friends, today we learn about growing neem tree in a container at home and quickly some benefits of neem tree in gardening and some quick tips on how to care for a neem tree grown in a pot in your terrace garden. All that's coming up. If you are a hobby gardener or interested in growing plants, consider subscribing to this channel. Also turn on the notification bell icon so that you won't miss any updates. The neem tree with botanical name Azadiracta indica is a tropical and subtropical plant commonly grown in Asia and Africa. This is a plant every gardener must know. Each and every part of this tree, whether leaves, stem, roots, fruits and seeds, all are valuable and used for many different purposes, mainly medicinal values. And in gardening, it has wide variety of uses like neem oil is the best organic pesticide available till date and very effective against common plant pests like aphids, mealybugs, white flies and many other pests. Neem oil is also a great fungicide for issues like powdery mildew and also black spot disease and many others. This is discussed in detail in my video titled Neem Oil in Gardening. You can watch this later by clicking on a link from a card at top right corner of this video. Now before looking into how to grow neem tree in a pot and its care tips, we'll quickly look into other benefits of neem tree that is like the neem stem is used as miswak to brush teeth by many people since ages and neem bark is used for its antiseptic pro properties. Neem flowers attract honeybees because of its sweet aroma. Then neem cake that is the leftover substance after oil extraction which is very much similar to mustard cake. This powder is an effective and an excellent fertilizer for plants and also it has antifungal properties in the soil. Lastly neem leaves apart from its antiseptic properties in gardening it is used to make a liquid extract pesticide similar to neem oil. Although the efficacy is higher for neem oil this recipe works on many pests. Now moving on to the neem plant growing in a container, its care tips, reporting and other stuff. The first factor is temperature. First point to remember for people in tropical and subtropical regions is it's a very easy to grow plant and can grow in temperatures up to 45 degrees centigrade. But below 5 to 10 degrees centigrade it can cause leaves to drop. Then the second factor is container size. It can be easily grown from seeds. But best practice is to get a small plant from a nursery and repot it in a larger container you have because repotting later can be difficult because neem tree has a very strong and fast growing root system. So try to choose at least a 16 or 18 inch container or even larger than that. Then the third factor is soil. It can grow in any type of soil including the clay soil. If you see clay rich soil into your the, the sop, sapling you brought from nursery, do not remove the soil for repotting. Just optionally perform some root teasing that is to release some roots and then plant the whole thing in your container. Or best thing is to plant it in the ground soil if you have ground space. This is because the root system is strong and can easily break the clay rich soil and then expand into the new soil. Then the fourth factor is sunlight. It can tolerate different amounts of sunlight, whether it's direct sunlight or indirect sunlight, indirect bright sunlight. For container grown neem tree, best is to avoid noon sunlight. Then the next factor is watering. This depends on the soil you are choosing. If you are using a well draining potting mix, it needs daily watering. Best practice is to check the top one inch of the soil and then water if, if it is dry. Then the next requirement is fertilizer. Once in a month or two, you can feed with one handful of vermicompost or even decomposed cow dung powder. If you have prepared the universal all-purpose fertilizer mixture powder, feed one tablespoon once a month after tilling or raking the topsoil. You should make it a habit to perform this uh, soil loosening before applying any fertilizer to any plant. You can watch my video on how to make this universal all-purpose uh, mixed fertilizer powder from a card link at the uh, top right corner of this video. Then the next factor is pruning. If you want to make it more bushier rather than increasing its height, you can cut off the top growing end. This encourages side branching and then you can keep pruning the side branches as and when they keep growing. This encourages multiple branching and you can make your plant more bushier. Then coming to the propagation of neem tree, you can propagate neem trees by planting seeds and also from cuttings. You can root cuttings in water and then transfer them into the soil once the rooting starts. 
so there we have it folks that was about neem tree growing in your terrace garden if you like the video please give it a thumbs up like share and comment below the video and also consider subscribing to the channel if you're new to my channel with the notification bell turned on happy gardening